All right, what's up, guys? It's Clay Fishing TV back. Today, I'm with Zane Outdoors right here. And so we were just at the jetties, and so we got ourselves a nice little Spanish macro here and a blue runner. We're gonna do catch cook. I just wanna say before we start this video, we gotta meet Rad Reeling, fish, Rad Reeling Fishing, when you're fishing there. So uh, I watch his videos all the time, so that's pretty cool that we gotta meet him. So I didn't get a video of him because I didn't have my GoPro with me when we were out there, but you probably see me in his videos, and I'll leave the link to his to his uh, channel down in the description below. So yeah, let's get into cooking this dish. All right, guys. So I got this knife here, and I'm gonna be doing the first. I'm gonna be playing the Spanish mackerel first. So uh, yeah, this knife's not the sharpest, but I think it'd be fine. I'm just gonna go from like right here, and uh, this is like my second time ever playing Spanish mackerel. But I remember when I did it, we just left the skin on it, and it tasted pretty good. So yeah, we're gonna do this. And then, oh, that's easy to cut through. My gosh. Yes. It has a hook in them. All right, guys. Is this is this your hook? No. Right, is it recording? Yes. Sure. It is. All right, guys. So I'm just flying this fish, and he. Gone. I just found. Actually, it's not even that bad rusty. It's not even rusty that bad, so it's definitely recent, but there's a hook stuck in him. The barb's missing off it, but yeah, that was oh my recent. Because the it's like not rusty at all, but look. Yeah. So that was really fast. The skin is just really easy to cut through. And do this. And there we go. Already got it. We're going to take out this right here. We're going to get the backbone out first, and then. All right, guys, so we just got all the backbone out of it. I just took all the backbone out, and there we go. We got those two nice pieces, so. All right, so Zane is starting to flay. He's flaying. This is only, like, his third time ever flaying something. <laughs> so don't make fun of me, man. <laughs> and we still have to flay this other side, too. But look how good of a job I did on that. So he's going to. Okay, this is harder than it seems, but. Not really. <laughs> Alright, so Zane's gonna be cutting the backbone. But I think I can. Alright, we're just gonna take the skin off now. He's just gonna rip it off with his hands. God dang it, no. And you messed up. We could have two little tendies. <laughs> Give me yeah, he's just ripping, ripping it off with his hands. It's actually kind of working. Alright, there we go. So we got that right there from the blue, the blue runner. That's just one fillet from it. And then this is what I got from the Spanish mackerel over here. Got both these. And we're just, on the Spanish mackerel, we're just leaving the skin on because that's what a lot of people do. And it tastes good because I've had it like that before. Alright guys, so I'm going to fillet this little blue runner right here. Alright, so I'm just going to lift this up. And it's sort of like right here. Go down a little bit. Look right there. Now we're just gonna go from the top. Watch your fingers, bud. I know. Now we're just gonna go. Okay guys, so this is what I just got out of it. See, there, this is the other side. A little bit of meat was missing, but not much. Just half an inch, right? I got all of it over here. You can hear the bone when you put it by it. That's how you know I got it all. Yeah, there's like no meat left. All right, so now I'm gonna cut through the backbone. Here's
here's both the chunks you got right here. So there's, that's a lot. Or for the size, that's a lot. Anyway, so we're just gonna take. Now we're gonna have to get the skin off. Do you want to peel it off? Oh, look how beautiful my hands. Are. Delicious. Delicioso. I think it's just the ribs. All right, guys, just flayed the blue runner. So now we're gonna throw it in the trash. Yeet. So this, we got all of it. That's all right there. A little bit more. Definitely enough for two people. But yeah, we're gonna clean up our mess. And then... So we're at Cameron's house, and we're just gonna get some. We're gonna get like two eggs and some milk, and we're gonna put the fish in it and let it sit in there for a bit. And then we're gonna put the breading. We're gonna put the breading on the fish, and then we're gonna cook it up. And yeah, it should taste pretty good. That was the most perfect egg you will ever see. Boom. Bada bop. Bang. Alright, now we're gonna stir up the eggs. Don't worry, no, we will not. Gonna... He's know what he's doing. Okay. Alright. Alright guys, so we're stirring it up right now. Then we'll split it half. Black chicken nugget. Hold on. Is that it? Is that meat? So that's yeah, the two that's... blue runner. Is there another one? Yeah. Right, there's one more blue runner piece going in. All right, there you go. Oh, you completely one. failed that. That's oh, the blue runner. That's gonna get. So we're gonna be doing the same process we did with the Spanish mackerel. We're just gonna flip it every couple seconds, every like 25 seconds. So we're gonna be doing that same process for like one to two minutes. And then yeah.